Hey everyone, Pubcrawler644 here on Conan Exiles. Today I'm going to try and build a trap to get some Black Galleon Thralls. Okay, traps aren't really a thing in Conan, uh, not that I've seen, not that I've done. So as I go through this video, uh, you have any comments uh, of your own previous ideas, uh, you know, drop them, drop them down, we'll have a conversation about it. Um, you may have a feeling that I'm doing things right, but I'm not getting there, or, you know, I'm, I'm way off. So a any feedback will be grand. So let's get to it, right? Okay, so I'm here at the Black Galleon uh, on the map. This is over here, but I'm sure you're probably familiar with the Black Galleon by now. Now in the Black Galleon, they have lots and lots of thralls. So, ranging from one level all the way up to name thralls, we get like Captain Eu, some Japanese name, Black Hand Captain, you can get some archers and stuff uh, underneath, you get some priests and that. So, what I wanted to do was see if there's an easy way of getting them. And when I say easy, as always, that's with a caveat. Okay, for this trap to work, you're going to need blunted arrows. So if we go to feats, we go to weapons, we scroll down to the archery. Then we can see here, blunted arrow, you need to be level 35. And you make them at the carpenter's bench. Okay, for blunted arrows, you need two branch, one iron bar, and one feather. So it's not expensive at all. So... Mid-range, you're probably heading, you're probably that level already when you get into the Black Galleon because it, it can be quite tough. I have two traps here. <laughs> I've been trying this off camera. First one I did was I just built a base with me Soul Prison and I had uh, Amareth the Swift and I have Danoon the Dragoon. Now, I gave these at first Crescent Bows, that's what they're normally armed with, and Blunted Arrows. And they were just killing everything because I think everything's too low level. And it's hard for them to shoot around, so it wasn't really working for me. Now, the second idea I had, and I figured this is probably the way you guys are going to be doing it, is what if I have low level people? So, and I admit, I spawned these guys in. I spawned in some Tafari archers. I think they're all threes. Nope, they're all different levels. Um, oh, out the way. That's a three, three, one, and a one. I've gave, at first, how many do I have? One, two, three, five, six. I had six at first. Uh, and they were just killing everything, same as these guys. Anything I got near them, they were killing with the blunted arrows, which is not what we want. Right, we don't want them dying, so I took the arrows and the weapons off some of them. And what I did, uh, because it's low level, I'm assuming you might guys might be, I've given them Harkanian bows, just to see if that works. That's one of the first arrows you unlock, if one of the first bows. Not all of them have got the arrows, as you can see. Now, I may need help in the comments on this because this stuff here, the, the crenulated walls, uh, you need to be reinforced to make these. Um, I'm not sure if they're helping or not, but what I didn't want them doing is dropping in very quickly. The crenulated walls is... You need to be level 36. All right, so that's fine. Okay. So, how does it work? Well, the theory I've got is that I load them into here I've got a shield, which admittedly um, I'm a bit cheaty with an obsidian shield. Uh, let's see what shields users have. So, one second. I am being very cheaty on this video. Uh, level 36 shield would be... Let's say you've got yourself a hardened shield by this time. Let's see if that'll work. And what I'm doing, I'm using Seth's truncheon, but I'll get rid of that. I will put in a normal steel truncheon. Uh, 
I'm still not sure this is going to work. But again, hopefully the idea behind it is you guys start thinking about things and we can get a conversation going in the comments. Uh, I've got a few followers who are very knowledgeable on this game. So uh, I'll be interested in their thoughts and their hints and tips. So uh, this is like from my old arc days, this. And what I'm doing, it's you lure people in. Now, if you have two people, it might be good because one of you could close the gate straight away. Now, where I've parked it, by the way, is on this side of the galleon. Uh, it's just easy to build and it's quite close to it. The other side, you've got to go quite far away. So we have three guys here. By the way, watch out because sometimes you get rock noses around here. So let's lure you in. You the only one. Oh, see, there's a rock nose there, so let's try and kill that straight away. Um, what I would suggest as well is you put as much as you can into vitality because you're going to be tanking it. Is she coming? Oh, and this is the issue. Sometimes they run round the back. Where's she gone? There she is. Right, so. She's in. And then we just tank her. Sometimes they warp out, which is a bit annoying. And they're not very accurate, so you might want to level these guys up uh, right, with the accuracy so and stuff. But I'm, not, I'm using unleveled archers, but uh, if you want to level them up before you come here, you've got all the food. So pork will give you strength and agility. Shredded roast will give you agility. Grilled steak, vitality. Fish is accuracy, so that would be good to have. Roasted haunches, survival. Uh, exotic feast. I usually have to waste that. Gruel is strength. Exquisite stew is strength and vitality. Last and meal and enhanced gruel. So, what you want to do is if you take them out to level off with the plans of this or any archers really, give them fish and give them enhanced gruel and that will boost them up on that. Now you can also give them meat as well for the vitality, for the health. So they're taken out and what you can do as well if you want to participate. Oh. God, as soon as you move. Can I go into VMO? I can't go into VMO while I'm holding the, sh the shield, unfortunately. I can't move the camera. It's not very uh, cinematic, is it? Tell you what, let's go over here. There we go, better view. Arrow to the head. <laughs> right, is she dead or is she alive? This is the test. So, she's knocked unconscious. So, it works, which is good. Um, so, <laughs> I'm playing modded. I have the better thralls mod, so I can have up to 10 thralls, but a lot of you are playing on um, vanilla, so you're only like one thrall. It is tough going in there, but if you're willing to knock yourself out some like low level, to, I mean Safari 3, maybe they're not low level, but I've got some ones in here as well, uh, but you're going to be starting at the Noob River, um, where the Safaris are and stuff. So, alright, so, can we get more? <laughs> this is the fun bit, and this is the tricky bit, because I died doing this, and my stats are quite high, because, like, obviously, I'm on mods, I'm 120, I've got max, have I got maximum? Yeah, I've got maximum vitality, and I still die, because you got to be careful on here. So, what we're going to do, yeah, there's my dead body there. <laughs> Let's ignore him for a minute. Let's ignore. Oh, see did the crusher. Let's just test him because I haven't got him actually. Right, so a named thrall. Will it work on them? Where's he gone? This could do like a racing game where there's a button just to look behind you. <laughs> Sometimes it's best to walk. This is an old arc technique, this way. Like you'd have to get them to hit you to keep them focused. Now, the difficult thing is funneling them into this tunnel. I might build some walls, actually. So, down a bit. 
Right, I've got three on me. Oh, they've hit me. Nope. Right, I want to get him in here. And unfortunately, some of them move around, so... Stands it right. He's gone round. Pain in the backside. There he is. Come on, no, this way. Come on, chaps. In you go. And what you can do is you can start taking out some of them yourself as well, but... Ugh. It's the only thing which, again, give me some... Right. I don't want them guys killing them. You might not have this one here. <laughs> Come on, in we go. Nope, I don't want you running off. You get here, you. Can I run faster than Ah, oh, yes, son of a... It's the only other thing. Some of them... Ooh. Run off. Where's he going? And you run into the danger here, because look, they're all on you. And if you're 36, you might get chopped. <laughs> Put a bed down. Right, tiptoe along. Oop. Still got a few on us. Yeah, he's still with us. Yeah, I might have to bring this down a bit and just put more walls in just to funnel them a bit more. Oh, right, so they're in. Nope, oh, right, so try and sneak. Close the gate. Ah, get your bed. Get your, get your, get your shield out. <laughs> And then you just tank him here. Hope that they don't sneak around you. And let the archers do the business. And we'll see what happens. I'll just fast forward this a bit. Oh, they're getting in at me, aren't they? I mean, you can fight as well. Right, get out, get out, get out. I want to get right in the corner. Just you can't get around me. Right, there's the crusher there. Now, some of them do unfortunately fly, no they like, disappear unless they're knocked out, I can't see it, I'm not taking my shield down. Harden shield's not doing too bad there, you know what I mean, and you can obviously um, add more stuff on it to make it more durable. I think that fella died. I'm just conscious that they might be running out of arrows, so let's just knock him out. Right, 
Right, of these, uh, they kill them. One that might be using arrows, so let me um, be right back. Alright, so you're not using anything. You've run out of arrows, so take that off you. You've got six left. Nineteen. Okay, so I'm back. What I've done, <laughs> it's not pretty at all, but you're building restrictions. I've put like a little tunnel in here, just hopefully funnel them in a bit more. Okay, uh, they might pool around here, but I'm not too bothered about this. What I'm going to show is what happens if you run into the actual ship. So vitality might be a factor here. You want your stamina up a bit as well. Okay, so whatever Creed has gone, he's gone. Or Cruder, whatever his name is. Oh, don't you hit me. Get out of the way. Right, run on the ship. Oh, balls. <laughs> okay, go either way. I'm going to go right. All right. Uh, run up here. And what you want to do, you just want to attract the attention of everyone. I think this is Black Ant Captain. Yeah, I'm not even sure you can take. Oh, stop messing about. Look up. Right, jump, jump. See, this is not what you don't want to happen because you'll die. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! All right, back to the drawing board. <laughs> yeah, that was a lesson in not what to do. Let's try and attract them. Take two. So run close to them, run around them, uh, Syrian fight. Now already I'm crippled, so you got to watch things like that. Okay. Run onto the ship. Go anywhere you want, really. You just want to get a trail of them following you. I'll go right this time. Just don't let them hit you like that, because you get stuck. Jump, 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 jump. Okay. Let's run up. Yeah, I'm crippled again. So again, you've got to watch your route and stuff. and. Just see where you want to go, but this might be enough. So yeah, we got quite a few following us here. Some of them may give up on you. <laughs> I'm just running around for the fun of it. Because I, I want to try and get a named one for you as well. You see. Hello, chaps. Right, so... No, don't climb that! <laughs> Alright, I'm not even paying attention here, my stamina. Okay. Walk a bit. You'll see... They might shoot you with the arrow, but... Um... Oh! <laughs> I wanted to have a look who was following. Yeah, looks we got... Oh, we got a lot here. Okay, come on, you chaps. Don't want to mess around too much because if they catch you around here, like, you know, my body that was there before. And then just walk and hopefully they don't shoot you. Go zigzag. Now, all of these unfortunately won't follow you in, but, you know, you might get a good selection. Oh crap. See, some of them start running away again, and no matter what you do, they just ignore you. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, I'm supposed to be the expert show you how to do it. Alright, so... <laughs> Still got a few. You can't load them all, unfortunately. Nope. And unfortunately, there's no like, luck behind key like in racing. So, we go through here. Get your shields out. And they're all running away. For feck's sakes. Why are they all running away? Got 
God, he's near knocked out already, just punching him. Where have you been? Come on. Trap him in. And where's she gone? <laughs> Has he zoomed out as well? Hmm. <sighs> I guess back to the draw, I'm Bob. But I'm going to put this video up because I want you to see me thinking behind it. And then obviously, um, it may inspire you uh, let me know in the comments if it does or it may um you may have tried something in this and it doesn't work and i'm wasting my time but anything you can do just let me know um i can knock some people out maybe not all maybe this isn't working this thing the funnel All right, so uh, leave a comment if you've tried something like this before or you can, you've got a theory about what I'm doing, uh, which is wrong. Um, maybe this is the area for it, uh, but I hope it inspires you um, to think about things. Just a bit different because obviously it, it can be a bit tricky. Um, I guess... I suppose you could look at it as some people use like purge traps. This guy is my purge trap. <laughs> Not very good. I have people around it. Yeah, yeah, all right. So you may have a purge trap that works for you uh, and you can apply similar things. Let us know in the comments. Um, maybe I need to push this back a bit. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> um, it's Pubcrawler644. I'm just messing about dismantling things as a chat here. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.